Yeah, 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 yeah. Christ love. Yahweh. So I'm going to have to give a part two because the phone is not able to hold so much memory. So I got about 15 minutes to give a part two of what I was speaking about, which is the current circumstances of the situation, the current circumstances of the situation of the so-called United States of America and their so-called sitting, now sitting president. So I told you in part one, I'm just going to do a recapitulation very fast. The child by the name of Donald Trump that was on the Andy Griffith show died. The man that stole me from Bethlehem Steel that was working for Donald Trowlin by the name of Donald Jesus Trump died. And I told you that the Holy Spirit was the only one that I knew that was able to do that kind of mm, what is, seance or witchcraft or divination of magic to make a person that's dead seem to look like that. However, I'm reminded that Moses Neville, the Archangel Gabriel, told me himself that he was doing that, putting that white man out there. So I'm reminded that there's another one that does that, and that's Moses was able to do that. Now, where I left off in part one of what I was speaking about was that your president was the ghost of a ghost of a ghost. Now, he came looking like the angel Satan that died at Lou's house around 1967 on the Hollywood Hills. And he came looking like the angel Satan that died at Lou's house when Lou died that y'all was worshiping as Jesus Christ in 1967. He came looking like that in the name of two dead people. That's what y'all now sitting president is. It's the ghost of two people looking like an angel that used to be called Satan that died. All right, that's what your president is by image and that's what your president is by name. The ghost of two people and looking like the image of an angel that died. All right, in the name of Satan. In the Bible, it's in the book of Revelation, it said that y'all worship the mark of the beast and received his marks on your your foreheads or some shit. See, your current president is the, is the person that was putting them black marks on people and putting them out there on TV, the mark of the beast, writing uh, tattoos on them and putting little fake ass signs on their foreheads. That's your president who's doing that shit. It's called the beast. The beast. All right. Why did y'all vote for the devil to be your president? That's not really my concern at this moment. I'm gonna just tell my testimony. So, we ended up in Los Angeles. I lived at, the name of the person is Donald John Trump. I lived at his estate. He had maids and servants, and he had uh, women that he used to have sex with. And he had neighbors that were basically like Jewish people that was trying to teach him how to pray in the name of the Lord Yahweh and if the neighbors didn't like each other he would swap their houses like one day one week or one month some neighbors would live in one house and if they didn't like their neighbors to get along then he'll put them in another house down the street or on another street or some shit like that they'd play musical houses over there on the hill over there where, we, where I was living and um This one named Donald John Trump, this motherfucker used to try to make babies. You know, he used to watch me and look at my life. He used to try to make babies from these white white women. He used to have sex with them. And he said he was trying to make, he was such a racist that he couldn't, couldn't stand the idea that a little black baby shined more than every white person that he ever seen. He could say he couldn't stand that idea. He was going to make a baby that shined just as much as me. He was going to use all the faith he could to try to have a baby. He made some babies now and, di and was disappointed. The women had, had a baby or two and was disappointed. Like, this baby don't shine at all. 
<laughs> Did they have the house? Before he got married to the first lady called uh, his wife, which y'all called 1977, trying to have babies with different white women, man, and start crying and shit. I just saw the motherfucker crying and shit. Cause he didn't love the women. And he's like, you know, try to have sex right in front of me, man. And like try to make a baby, a white baby, to, to shine as much as me, cries. And couldn't do it, you know. I watched it as a little child. It's kind of funny. But uh, I stayed there for about eh, a few months, less than a year though. It was about eight or nine months I stayed there. Um, I told you guys already that I used to get escorted from the Los Angeles Police Department because they didn't have enough, they said they didn't have enough information to know exactly what happened. So they would, they had him on some kind of uh, house arrest restraining order. But since he kind of owned the hill or some shit, they let him come down to the bottom of the hill and there was a building where he used to write music and have the little children uh, play his music that he wrote. He had insanity, but he was using my mind. And he would write these little music stuff and have the children play the little instruments. And that was like his therapy, you know, at that house. The new person named Donald John Trump. That was his therapy, you know, he had insanity. So... Eventually, I was left in that music room overnight one time, and the police came down to the room, and they called him down to the room, asked, why, why did you leave the baby, this baby in this room? All the windows and doors open. It was in the middle of the winter time, And I was no longer able to stay with him because he was too negligent and too carefree about Christ. So I was no longer able to stay with him anymore. So the, the plot was they were going to leave me in the ghetto. That's what they did. Uh, Trump started working with the Los Angeles Police Department. I don't know why they had him <laughs> working with them. Over there off of 11th Street near Western, or between Western and Normandy. And he worked out of that, that, that place over there by the Cholo restaurant, 11th Street, and, uh, Normandy, and um, Western over there, right, and you can just get on the uh, freeway somewhere right around there. So one day they dropped me off. One day they dropped me off by 85th Street in Hoover. I mean, uh, it wasn't Hoover Street. It was 85th Street and Figueroa. And I won't go into all the details, but they drove, they got out the 110 freeway, Got off on Figueroa Street and just like parked right there and the driver, which was a police detective, they dropped me off and I got picked up. Long story short, I got picked up by, you know, the, my caretaker now. The, the, you know, my, I call her my mom because she's been taking care of me you know, for the last 40 years, you know, after that time, you know. But um, they just picked me up right there on 85th Street and Figueroa. Now, that was my time with Donald John Trump at his house, all right? That was my time with him at, at the house. Now, there's another situation that I had with him because Trump was uh, diagnosed as being mentally insane. And so he bought another house on the bottom of his heel because he wanted to, he said he needed to heal. So he bought another house on the bottom of the hill. I think it's near Third Street, maybe Beverly or some shit like that. But he said he needed to be by more people with cars and shit like that and, you know, try to get his mind back together. And uh, he wouldn't let me and the Holy Spirit live with him at his new house. He told the Holy Spirit he didn't want the Holy Spirit living there with him since 1978. So that was my, that was my time with Trump in 1977 and 1978. That's all that I knew. I never really knew the person. Now, when I lived on 85th Street in Hoover, I was being taken care of by angels, and the angels were in the name of the Creator. They were, they were doing what's called bonding time. They used to pick me up on 85th Street in Hoover where I was living, and they would drive me to certain parks where Donald John Trump would be and they had like these bonding time that they were doing. They were in the name of the Creator. Because they used to call the pledge 
it goes uh, Olive, Llama, uh, Hey, and then it's got these, they used to do this pledge. They were in the name of the Creator. And Trump told them that he named me Jamal because he, he said I was like his Dalai Lama. So he wasn't gonna take the pledge. He put a J on it for his name, J, and called me Jamal and write the word Lama backwards and called me Jamal Trump. Said he, he put a birth certificate out and had did my fingerprints or some shit like that on a napkin or some shit like that. He said he called me Jamal Trump and they had made up, a, they, were, they were in the process of making up another name for me at the time. But those angels belong to the creator himself and they were doing bonding times with me and the new Donald John Trump. And one time we had a little uh, orgy over there at Menlo Park. It's on Menlo and Hoover. It sounds funny, but we had an orgy over there. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? They, they gave me some head. And you know what I'm saying? He, he sodomized them, basically. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that happened. I did that. And that was the end of our bonding time. We had bonding time a few times, and that was the last time of our, pretty much of our bonding time. And... Trump went off with some of your angels that belong to the Creator and had sex parties with them and would, you know, drink alcohol and do drugs and shit. Trump did that in 1978 with, with some of the angels of the Creator. So I know that the hierarchy of creation has been dealing with this ghost. You know, now I'm going to fast forward because I don't have too much time on this phone to be recording. It's going to cut it off in, in a certain amount of minutes. I'm going to fast forward from 1978 to 19... 80, I'll go. And in 1980, Donald John Trump came on Hoover Street, took me out of, I was enrolled in Bethany Church Head Start Program, took me out of Head Start Program at Bethany, and later on enrolled me at Manchester Elementary School Head Start Preschool Program. He had to pay money to do that. I forget what the name of that school was, but it was a person's name. It wasn't called Manchester Elementary School, it was called a person's name for Head Start and Preschool. And then you do a couple of semesters and then you, you go into kindergarten. And if you could pass kindergarten, then you go into Manchester Elementary School in the first grade. But it was all on the same campus on Manchester and Hoover. All this took place on the Manchester and Hoover. So long story short, in 1980, Trump started coming to Manchester Elementary School when I was in preschool as what was called a teacher of God. And they had this book that the Holy Spirit had put out called A Course in Miracles. It's still famous, famous book out there. You had the child from home alone, McCollum or something, tell you about it. The satanic coach used it all the time, A Course in Miracles. And Oprah Winfrey told you about it before her show got canceled off of the uh, national network. She got her own cable show. She told you about A Course in Miracles. That's what happened to her show. But uh, long story short, I told you my phone ain't gonna have all this time for me to be like telling these little uh, you know, saying stories to the ghost of Christmas past. But um, Trump was coming to Manchester at Manchester Elementary School as a teacher of God. Now my name is Love, and the Bible said that God is love, but I was telling the people my God given name, Yahweh. Christ, Yahweh. That was my name, C or Y. You could call me Christ or Yahweh. Other than that, I wouldn't talk to people very much, you know? Y'all would just push me around and abandon me. I would not talk to people very much during that time. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, they started calling Trump my dad at Manchester Elementary School as a teacher of God in the name of my father, Yahweh. And then they started paying Trump. Every time he came down to Manchester, they had to pay him cash money in my name, Yahweh. And this happened all the way until uh, uh, Trump got it, got in some trouble for being a, uh, basically a pedophile. He like thinks about children and has want to have sex and touch on little boys and shit like that. So a divine council around 1981 was brought to Manchester Elementary School in the name of the Creator. They announced themselves to me. In the name of the Creator, they announced themselves to me. And they asked me my name. I was standing, Trump and I were standing on the, on, the, on the blacktop of Manchester Elementary School. And in the name of the Creator, the Divine Council asked me, who, who am I? What's my name? Because I was standing with Trump. They was having a, some kind of a, um, a decision that they were going to make about Trump. And I told them I'm Yahweh. 
And they said, you can't be that because that's God. I said, I'm God's son. I'm just like God because y'all was calling that man God. I'm just like God, though. I'm God's son, Yahweh. They asked me what's my other name. I said, at the school, they called me uh, Isaac Corey Smith, you know. But my name is Yahweh. They just call me that because they don't want to call me their God, just like you don't call me. That's my name. I told the divine council that came in the name of the Creator my name in 1981 while, while supposedly Donald John Trump was standing right by me holding my hand. So I know you guys are telling some lies now in the name of the Creator, in the name of the, with the person y'all call the President of the United States of America. I know that. And I will remind you that are his angels. I am the universe, love. And love, the universe does not have a father. The universe only has a creator, your same creator. All of my light and all of my energy and all of my power in my entire universe is his. It belongs to the creator himself. So you guys are telling these lies also in the name of my, my creator as the universe. But while I'm speaking to you about my identity as the son of God, love Yahweh, I would just stay telling you about your the current circumstances of the situation in the United States of America and your so-called sitting president, Donald John Trump. There was a 30-year restraining order in 1981 put against that person's name against the name of Isaac Corey Smith. That person violated that restraining order many times. He's supposed to stay away from me for 30 years. That person ended up dying also. That person ended up dying also now. All right. So that's the third time that the person died. And I know two other times that a person in that image also died. Because Moses never gave up. The Archangel Gabriel was playing around with that image to saying that he was going to deceive Jewish people that was listening more to TV and they listened to that white man image more than they listened to Moses. And they said, well, the Jewish people are supposed to listen to Moses. So Moses was also doing that with you guys, or you maybe call him Gabriel. I know that for a fact. So that's the, let me see, the little child died, Jesus died, came and got me off from Bethany because he said he couldn't live without me. That person had died again. And then the person that I stood in front of the divine council, that person also died. Right? And then two more times I've seen that person die. So that's six times that that person in the name of Donald Trump died in this dream with Christ's love, Yahweh. Six times. The problem is the divine counsel in the name of the creator somehow is telling, is allowing America to believe that that person still exists. I don't know why y'all lying like that. And why y'all got that, why y'all got the devil person to put out the mark of the beast and tell y'all with the money that put out satanic devil coats and tell you that when God we trust tell you he put his money on Satan that that's his God. I don't know why y'all at the divine council that comes from the creator I don't know why y'all have these lies and this confusion and this insanity on TV and, 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 and on planet earth but it's gonna get dealt with. It will get dealt with, you know? It will get dealt with. That's why y'all already not in my universe. Remember, y'all got ran out of the universe for honoring other names above the name of the creator that created y'all. And y'all got ran out of the universe by other angels. That's what happened to y'all in World War II. Y'all ain't even free of that right now. But I'm, I'm simply giving my testimony and my report about so-called Donald John Trump. That is a ghost of a ghost of a ghost. Y'all 100% are fabricating this story that there's a sitting president and behind, behind that name is a special counsel and behind the special counsel, the divine counsel.